Hi guys, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video which is a big old stinking nail polish haul. Um, I pretty much didn't buy any nail polish in January, I think I bought two or three and then I decided to reward myself for my good behaviour in February by buying too much. I think everything that I swatched and how much down I got my nail polish like swatch pile, I pretty much replaced with everything that I'm about to show you today. So bad me, I will try and not buy any more unless I'm going to get, oh I won't buy any more but I might get sent some so now I've got a few collections coming into my box over the next few months but for now I will show you everything that I picked up in the one week of February that I went shopping so I started off by picking up some extra top and base coats. So the first one I went for is the American Classics Jealous. And this was recommended after I watched um, Lindsay Does Now's top and base coat declutter. And she uses this for any of the fine micro glitters. Although it says Jealous in the title, it is not a gel nail polish. It's just a really, really thick top coat, which is great for evening out those bumpy manicures. So it does look like this. It isn't, like I say, I got mine from Sally's. I didn't know if it was going to be available over here. Although I hear everybody in America and Canada talk about it all the time but you can pick it up at your local Sally's and um, actually the girl in Sally's didn't actually know what this was we had a little bit of a chat about it because she didn't understand what it was even though she worked in Sally's so that one is the American Classics Jealous Top Coat I then picked up some base coats, so these are from 90 Lacquer and I've recently run out of my base coats completely and I didn't know which one of Jess's to go for so I picked up both. So the first one is um, Super Smooth which is their ridge filling base coat and I also love this one because I do love ones that are tinted. I kind of go back and forth, sometimes I love the tinted base coats and sometimes I love the clear ones. The clear one here is called Stuck and I haven't tried either of them yet but I'm really looking forward to it. I, I like the idea of having one of each just because like I say sometimes I want a clear sometimes I want a, a cream one just depends how I'm feeling so I will link all the indie sellers that I'm going to mention down below in the down bar so these three were the ones that I picked up at the end of January so I did kind of break my nose by but only by a couple of days so who cares and these is the this is the frenzy polish trio for Star Wars and I picked these up basically because I do love Star Wars I've already shown some on this channel that I picked up recently and I never tried frenzy polish so when the option came up to get these I thought I would go for it so the first one is called the sands of Jakku and it is a kind of sandy colored um base beigey sand color and then it's got all of that gold glitter I don't think there's anything other than gold in there I'm pretty sure it's just gold glitter in there we then have Ren, and Ren is kind of similar actually, so this might help you out if you wanted it. I show in my last nail polish favourites, 4A 15, 16, 23, 42 by Hair Polish, and this actually looks quite similar. It's a black jelly base, and then it's got all lots of like shattered shard glitter in there. It's not the same, because this is all mainly silver shattered, and then it's got a red micro glitter ring through it, but it's in the similar sort of family. They could be cousins, they could be long lost cousins. So that one there is Ren. And the last one is Guardian, which is a blue um, base, and then look at all that silver glitter in there. I'm not sure if it's just silk, yeah, it's silver on holographic micro glitter with larger like silver shard glitter in there as well. So I will link Frenzy Polish's website down below. I then took part in a little nail polish swap with one of my subscribers called Jill. She sent me this beautiful card with a lovely message inside and we swapped polishes and um, she sent me my private jet and this is one of the ones with the holographic in it. Now my private jet is one of those classic OPIs and I think it was made famous by the Kardashians. Gross, 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 gross. Blech. Um, but this is a beautiful shade. I love it. It's like a cup of coffee on your nails with all of that holographic in there. The holographic shows on your nails. It's absolutely stunning. Really something nice and neutral if you wanted to go for like an interview and just have like a bit of a pop of like holographic or sparkle in there. This is gorgeous. So thank you so much for, to Jill for um, swapping this with me. But that one is my private jet. I then went to Westfields with my mum and my son and my brother, which was a bit of an adventure, um, a couple of weeks ago, and that was when they were having um, their 50% off offer on all of Models Own. So and normally if you go into a Models Own bottle shop, I don't know if you've done this, even if you just look around and don't buy anything, you get a free gift. And this time I actually got a nail, nail related free gift, and it's just one of their buffers. So it's got a file, smooth, buff, and shine. Couldn't see what the last one was. It's just a little free gift there from Model Zone. So if you like I say, if you're near one in your area and you do just go in to have a peek, they normally give you a free gift. So 
little top tip there. So I picked up just a few because I do have a few models in my wish my work swatch pile. Um, so the first one here is just called Turquoise Sea. I love this colour. I'm attracted to it. We're like moth to a flame. It's just I want one of their straight up creams. And this is it, actually my first ever cream nail polish from Model Zone that isn't a hyper gel. So it'll be interesting to know what the formula's like on this one. I then got two chromes. The first one I got was Chrome Red, which I don't know why I got this, but something about this is just really like sexy and vampy, having like nails that are red, but like chrome. I just love the overall effect of that. And the last one I got was Chrome Copper. I love rose gold. I didn't really want to go and get the classic silver and gold. I just thought this one was a bit different. And I believe this is from the second set they released because they released an initial collection. I think this is one of the top ups that was an add on to that. The last one that I got was one of the Velvet Goth collection, I believe it was called. Um, I saw someone swatching these on Instagram the other day, forgive me, I can't think who it was. If it was you, leave your details down below for people. But um, yeah, I saw people swatching them and I heard they weren't around anymore. Originally they had like a soft top, like cap on them. But if they, they are in the bottle stores, but they've not got the soft cap. So I had to look up what the names were. And the only one that I could find, well, I, did I didn't search for that long, but the one that I found was called Absinthe. And it is a dark, dark, greeny teal base with so much glitter in there. I'm interested to see what the effect of it is because I don't think with glitter, I don't know, it could be like a liquid sand where it dries matte. I'm not really sure. I just quite like the idea of like the green, like vampy darkness. I just, I just like the overall effect. So I'll update you on what the finishing of that was. But those are the ones I picked up from Model Zone. I then have got the Deborah Lippmann Sweets of My Sweet um, collection, which is their spring collection for 2016. Deborah Lippmann were kind enough to send this to me, but actually they posted it to Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails, who then forwarded it to me because they don't ship to the UK from their American website. So thank you to Deborah Lippmann and thank you to Lindsay. And I'm just going to film a full review on this right now. So I'll leave that down below for you. So if you want to look at the review for this, you can. I then picked up the entire Hello Kitty collection. Um, I was helped in part by one of my friends who sent the majority of them to me, and then a few of them were missing, so I just picked up the rest from Sally's Beauty Supply. And they do have, so at the moment in Sally's Beauty Supply, they have the Hello Kitty collection, and they have the Desert Escape by China Glaze. It's really odd. And um, they don't have any of the spring collections in, just in case you're wondering. Well, they didn't in my local one. So I will quickly just go through the colours. I'll just show them up to the camera because I know that you've probably seen a hundred million reviews of the Hello Kitty collection by now. So I'll start with the lightest shades. Look at my bow. Let's be friends. Small and cute equals heart. Charmy and sugar. Kitty white. Then we have the darker pinks. So we have spoken from the heart. Five apples tall. Super cute in pink. Starry eyed for dear Daniel. And then we have kind of the odd primary colours that were featured. So we have Never Have Too Many Friends, My Pal Joey, My Twin Mimi. So I'll be swatching through those periodically. If you do want to see a review video, I can whip one up for you in the next couple of weeks. But like I say, there are a lot out there. But if, if you want it, I'll do it. But that was all of the Hello Kitty collection. The last little bundle is all from TK Maxx. Now I saw on the, again, the UK Facebook now pages that... Um, there has been a lot of restocks in TK Maxx recently and I went a little crazy. So the first one, oh, I've just left the label on. How annoying. Let me peel the label off of this. That's TK Maxx sticking a massive old label on the front. This is the duo from um, the OPI re-promote of the Coca-Cola collection. So they originally released it in 2014. They then brought it back for 15, but then they added these two shades in that were only available in this box. I pretty much bought this for the green um, and the silver one. We'll see what that's like. So that is what the packaging looks like. This was $9.99 for the two. So we have Visions of Georgia Green, which is this beautiful greeny colour. And then we have Cent Centennial Celebration over the other side, which kind of looks a bit like a frosted pearly grey. Actually, it's quite a different colour. I'm guessing it's meant to look like the Coke bottle over here. So um, there's lots of those in there. So I'm thinking you probably can still pick these up if you're near TK Maxx. They then had loads of China Glaze products and, and mainly they're like top and base coats and cuticle oils. So out of everything, I've only ever tried first and last, which is the do joint top and base coat, which is actually going to be my next empties video. Um, not the one that's just gone up, the next one that I'm going to film. So I thought I would try their fast forward top coat because I only really use fast drying top coats these days. And I've probably got about one top coat left. I never really have that many as backup. So it's just... 
a normal top coat from them. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of, well, actually this is a bit different. The one that I just used up had a really skinny brush, but this one's not too bad. So like I say, I'm hoping this is going to be a nice, thick, fast drying, does what it says on the tint top coat. And all of the products that they had in there by China Days were all 3 dollars in the sale section, they had um, some Illamascas, and these were reduced down from £3.99 to £3. So they're just taking another pound off. And this one is called Venice. Venus? Venice? No, not Venus, because it has no in it. Venice. And this is a beautiful dark green colour. Uh, it kind of looks similar to Cameo, I feel. I should have probably got that out to compare. This is probably more green. It also reminds me of Exotic Encounters by China Glaze. But maybe this is more green, and that's more or grey um, but for three pounds i thought i would try it out you don't often often get a lot of um opportunities to buy in a mask and for three pounds i couldn't really say no then they have butter london because butter london tends to be back all the other ones i had there i already owned but this one is called tiddly and i really just like the name of it was one of the reasons why i picked it up and they had this or they had the bright orange now what do they call their bright orange i know it but it's just gone but there was this or there was the neon orange and i thought i would go for this one because it's slightly pink but not coral it's still orange on the like scale of things so a bit of a unique colour to my collection and those are $4.99 for Butter London's and finishing us up I was shocked to see that they had last year's Christmas collection already reduced in there and I picked up Give Me Space um, and this one was $3.99 and it's kind of one of those space ones a bit like Starry Starry Night from um, Essie the ones that are just like blue with blue glitter or blue with silver glitter you can't ever have enough of those so this one is Give Me Space by OPI that concludes everything I bought in the first week of February. Aren't I good at shopping? Um, so I will try and keep away from everything for now and I'm hopefully not going to do another haul video for a few months. Um, so thank you so much for watching and let me know um, stuff in the comments down below. I will link down below the indie sellers and I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye.